going back to to the early stages, um, I actually was asked which period I think would be good to do, which was great to be given the choice. And we looked at um, we looked at everything from sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth centuries. Um, and I kept coming back to sort of the 19th century, which is sort of quite fairy tale, um, and then decided it'd be more interesting to do it not strictly 19th century. So it's 19th century with other references, or f for some characters, it's sort of like the 1940s version of the 19th century or the 1920s version of the 19th century. And because it's, it's a fairy tale, I mean, really, we can, we can do what we like. It's sort of, it's once upon a time period, really. I've never spent so long on one costume as this ball gown. Um, I suppose I started looking at various shapes for ball gowns, various ideas for ball, ball gowns. And the, and the main, the main uh, premise of, the, of Cinderella's ball gown is that it's got to be spectacular, yet really simple. I mean, it's not the most ornate or the most uh, glittery or the sparkliest or the richest looking gown. Um, in the ball, but it's got to be the most beautiful. So that in, in itself was quite a challenge because the tendency is to do a fabulous ball gown is to actually cover it in stuff and have it dripping in jewels and things like that. And I think the, the idea was that she stood out from everybody else who would be dripping in jewels and crowns and tiaras and goodness knows what else as, as being the sort of simple, beautiful looking one. Yeah, that actually was really exciting for me because really it's a prop. So actually I was designing a prop that looks like a shoe, but you sort of had to start with the real shoe. Um, and in a way, that was a really daunting prospect, designing the iconic glass shoe and, and how, how to actually do it. Um, and I thought quite early on, I went, went through sort of various stages of thinking, well, we could have an engraved shoe, or we could just have a plain glass shoe, or it could be a coloured glass shoe. And then I thought, really, what it has to do is it has to sparkle. And the only way for it to sparkle is it has to be cut glass or crystal. Then the obvious people to approach were Swarovski, which we did. And then they said they were up for the challenge. And they'd never actually done anything like that. Even though they make objects and ornaments and things like that, they'd never done anything that actually is hollowed out and still works. And that, that was the challenge for them. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!